Let's say you're pretty new to Harleys. Some of your friends are talking about engines and they're saying things like, what do you got, 88, 95, 96, 103? You know you got one of those numbers, but you have no clue what it means. Well, today I'm gonna to be giving you a crash course in engine displacement and how that number is calculated so when you have these conversations, you can be further educated. My name's Cam, this is Gnarly's. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. So you probably know what size engine you have. It's gonna be something like 88, 95, 96, 103, 117, it doesn't matter. I want you to understand that this number represents a unit of measure and more specifically, volume. Let's go over that. So what exactly is a cubic inch? Well, let's take a cube. Really all we're trying to figure out is what is the volume. So we'll take all three sides, we'll measure them, then we're gonna multiply them all together and this will give us one cubic inch. However, if we had multiple cubes, let's say let's, let's double everything, right? So we got a two by two by two. So same thing, we're gonna measure all three sides, height, depth, width, that'll give us two by two. Now, how many cubic inches would this be? If you say two, that's wrong. So you're gonna multiply two by two by two, that gives us a total of eight cubic inches. There's only one problem with using this, and this is a cubic inch. Well, actually, this is an iPhone charger, but it's going to give you a very good comparison of what a cubic inch actually looks like. And that is the fact that, well, this just isn't square. If you were to fill up this cylinder with all these cubic inches, you would have tons of empty space on the wall. So in order for us to actually calculate how many cubic inches are in a cylinder, we got to do some math. So here's the calculation for engine displacement. It's gonna be bore squared, and then that's gonna get multiplied by the stroke, and then the number of cylinders multiplied by this constant. So we're gonna break this equation up into three parts. And one thing I wanna simplify right off the bat is every single Harley-Davidson Big Twin, including Sportsters, is going to have two cylinders, that's it. So let's go back to the whiteboard, let's go plug in two cylinders, and let's make this problem even simpler. So just like any other math problem, we're just gonna make it less scary. We know every single Harley-Davidson has two cylinders. So we're gonna multiply this number by two, and it's gonna give us 1.5708, and we're only gonna use this number from now on, 1.5708. So this is a stock 88 inch motor, and right here in my hand is a stock 88 inch cylinder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the bore right here. You could also look this number up and see exactly what it is. So this is 3.750. Let's go put that into the whiteboard. So whatever you measured, put it in this first part. However, we have one little curveball in our equation and that is stroke. See, stroke is the amount that the piston travels and the piston does not come perfectly to the top of the cylinder and it does not come perfectly to the bottom. So you can't just measure this distance right here and call that stroke. Stroke is typically given by the manufacturer, like Harley-Davidson, S&S, and so forth. So from 1999 to 2006, Harley-Davidson had a four inch stroke. And from 2007 to 2017, Harley-Davidson had a four and three eighth stroke on their Dyna models. So let's go back to our calculation. Let's go put four inches for stroke so we can figure out what the displacement is for this Dyna. The last part in red, put in four. All right, guys, we have all the components of the equation. We have the bore, we have the stroke, we have the constant multiplied by the number of cylinders. So let's go ahead, let's do all this math and let's figure out what it gives us. So in the beginning, don't forget that the bore is squared. So you have to square the bore right away and then the rest is just easy math, guys. 88 cubic inches. Okay, and there you have it. We just calculated the engine displacement for this early model Dyna, and it came out to be 88 cubic inches. Now, that is where this number is derived from. It's derived from the bore, it's derived from the stroke, the number of cylinders, and a constant, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit. Let's look at a Sportster 1200. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, 1200, that's a massive motor. However, this number is in cubic centimeters and we want it in cubic inches. Now we can do a simple conversion to figure out what that is in cubic inches, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put it, all these numbers back in our calculator, the Sportster 1200's bore, the stroke, the number of cylinders, the constant, everything, and we're gonna calculate this number in freedom units. And we're also gonna do an 883, just because. So right off the bat, a 1200 has a 3.5 inch bore. 
the stroke on a Sportster 1200 is 3.8 inches. This is a constant. This is never gonna change unless we change the number of cylinders. So this is 1.5708. And then we are gonna finish off this calculation. Hey, if you guys are liking this video or if you're learning something, go ahead and hit like. Leave me something funny in the comments. Tell me my stroke is small or something. I read all the comments and I love them. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna multiply these two and it's gonna spit us out the final number of 73.12. So, damn. Sportster 1200, you got a 73, 74 cubic inch motor. It's bitching. <laughs> let's do an 883. So an 883, it has a bore of three inches. Whoa! <laughs> All right, that number is gonna get squared, multiplied by, let's see, the stroke. The stroke is gonna stay the same. So it's gonna be 3.8 inches. And then we're gonna bring down this constant. I'm just gonna do this for speed. Yeah, so uh, an iron 883, you got a whopping 53.7 cubic inches. God damn. <laughs> All right, hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That's engine displacement 101. So this is just getting your feet wet. We're gonna capitalize off this video. We're gonna be talking about some really cool stuff. We're gonna be talking about how much we can take out of these stock cylinders for a twin cam. I'm gonna show you guys different bore sizes. So. This is a 107 build that we're doing right now, and you can see how much we took out of these cylinder walls and how big we can go. So, man, this video is gonna be so important for future videos. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit like. Follow me for all this stuff. I do this all the time. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Let's go, baby.